world will never be the same. That's an alien doing jumping jacks. That's an alien in a top hat. What's out there? The meaning of life. Maybe there is one. Are you married? I'm a widower, but don't tell my kids. You're saying her mother died three weeks ago. Let's say she's in heaven, which doesn't exist for me, of course, but you're Episcopalian. In my loneliness, I learned to give complete and unquestioning faith to the people I love. I don't know if that includes you, but it included my daughter and your four children. Sometimes I think I feel more at home outside the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, wow. Me too. Mm. And he is joining us now, New York's very own Jake Ryan. Hi, Jake. Hi. Well, How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Oh, my goodness, hey. Jake. I was up on the Upper West Side when you guys were having the big film premiere at Lincoln Center. Lines wrapped around the block to see the film and to meet the cast uh, because we got you. We have uh, Jonathan Schwartzman, Scarlett Johansson, Tom Hanks, Brian Cranston, Ed Norton, Adrian Brody, Margot Robbie, Jeff Goldblum, and many more. Holy cow. What a yeah. cast. What was it like to be part of this? Um, you know, it was... It was a wonderful experience, obviously, but at first it was a little intimidating because, you know, they're veterans of the craft, but at the end of the day, they're, they were there to do the same thing as me. They were there to have fun and perform, do yeah. a good job. Oh, so tell us a little bit about the film and your character. All right, so, Asteroid City. A bunch of people go in the middle of desert nowhere to attend a stargazing convention, and, you know, some very mysterious things happen. I play mm. Jason Schwartzman's son, or, uh, yeah, his character's son, Augie, I play the character Woodrow. He's uh, a, not a self-proclaimed brainiac, but he's sort of a, he's something of a genius, way smarter than I'll ever be. He's going through, <laughs> yeah. He's going through a lot right now in the movie, yeah. if you see. And uh, yeah, it's a good time. You okay. meet some very like-minded people. Yeah, I mean, Wes Anderson is known for being such a creative kind mm -hmm. of genius, right? And you first met Wes when you worked with him when you were seven years old. Yeah. Uh, was, what was that project? Um, that was Moonrise Kingdom, another fantastic Moon, movie. Yeah, that was a good, that yeah. seriously was one of his best pieces of, I have to see this too, but from seven years old to now, you kind of kept in touch with him, right? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, so what has that relationship been like then? So for when you met him at seven, like did you keep in touch over the years? And what is it like then working with him on set? Like such a great friendship that you've, you've established with him. Yeah, he's. Uh, I'm very. I'm grateful that he's kept me in his thoughts all these after all these years. Yeah. Um, I met him on. Yeah, I met him on Moonrise, Moonrise Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, I guess he saw something in me while I worked on there, and we oh. sort of kept in touch via emails ever since. I wish him happy birthday every That's great. year. Every year. Yeah. You know, when you look at the the trailer for um, for this film, the set looks so interesting. Um, so, kind of tell us what it was like to be on that, and what did, was it a real set? Was it fake? <laughs> what was it exactly? <laughs> okay, so basically, we shot the entire movie in Spain in a little oh town gosh. called Chinchon. Oh, wow. And, yeah, basically, Wes and his team built an entire desert town on, like, this watermelon patch. Get out! And it was, yeah, it was insane. It was probably... <laughs> <laughs> For, to me, at least, it was probably the most authentic set that I've wow. ever been on. That's like every cool. everything was real. Like the gas station was real. Like yeah. the diner area that was real. It was, uh, yeah, That's it was cool. it was great. And when you work in such a kind of like an enclosed space, obviously you're always all together. So when you're working with huge stars like that, I mean, you become kind of like a family. So was it weird for you to be in that environment with them? I mean, you talk about Scarlett Johansson. Did you guys stay up late at night and hang out? I mean, what was that like? Um, yeah, with most of my co-stars, we, I mean, I'd like to think we got along. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, by the way, you're a New Yorker. Yeah. Uh, Long Island? Correct. Yes. Right. So, um, and so do you still, are you still here? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so you don't want to go to like LA or anything? Um, not really. West no. Coast, East Coast. If I can stay here, I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, though, about when, like, when you were all together. I heard there was, like, some late-night board game playing while you Ooh. guys were on set. And that you kind of were the champ most of the time. Were you playing chess, or um, what were you guys playing, or cards, or? We, were pl we played a lot of different games. We played, uh, usually Uno. Yeah, what <laughs> yeah. talking about? I didn't try to win, I just tried to like make sure everybody else lost. Well, that's how. That's the, that's the patented strategy. Hey. I, pl I played, a we did play a lot of chess, and uh, I, u I mean, I know, a I know a thing or two about chess, yeah. so 
I had a slight advantage, but I will say Aristumian recently overtook me as like the champion. Okay. Oh. Yeah, checkers I could go head to head on, but at chess I'm out. I'm horribly, yeah. I'm horrible at chess. Anyway, so super excited to see this film. Yeah. And congrats on your success. It's Thank great. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for being here this morning. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yes, and his course. movie Asteroid City is playing in theaters everywhere right now. Check it out.